Hey everyone, Monday update, Tony George, DocSports.com. We're going to be talking about Monday Night Football, my hometown Chiefs, taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Just going to talk about, I have no interest in this from a premium play standpoint other than some props. Um, so let's go ahead and let's break this down for you for free. Real quick, get you out of here. Just a heads up, uh, college basketball tips today. We've got a play that goes at noon Eastern. The College Basketball Small Conference Preview Show with myself and my small conference guru, Tim Fines, will be taped this afternoon and on this channel later today. <coughs> we'll explain all that to you on that video. So be sure and tune in. Get ready for college basketball. It's what we've, you know, <laughs> we've been working on it for the last two months. Getting ready. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get to this. We'll tell you what's going on over the website. And a real quick recap uh, tonight here in Kansas City. It's wet weather. It's going to be 60 degrees maybe and misty and kind of hit and miss all day long. Just kind of creep and crud type weather. And that's going to continue through this evening. Uh, there's not a lot of wind uh, to speak of, just breezes. So, you know, it's not going to be ideal weather. I'm sure the field's been covered because it's rained all weekend. I mean, like. Two or three inches, you know, just hit, just all. So anyway, uh, there's that a little bit to get to. We'll have a wet ball tonight, put it that way. That being said, Kansas City is a nine and a half point favorite. Totals around 45. Um, I am going to put some pizza money for your free play on Tampa Bay. Now, Mrs. George would kill me if I went against her beloved Chiefs you know, in terms of a wager when it's not a premium play. She understands the business. So I'm going to kick back, order in a pizza, and watch the game with Mrs. George as a fan tonight. <coughs> Pardon me. And root for Kansas City to win by less than 9.5 because I'm not giving up 9.5 points with Kansas City. Tampa Bay. Baker Mayfield's a gamer. I don't care what you say about the guy. He's a gamer. Does everything he can to win football games. He's pretty much been a winner wherever he's been. And giving it his best shot. Um, he's without his two top targets in, in Goodwin and Evans. Uh, they have a three-headed running running back monster. With Bucky Irving, Turner, and uh, White. You might want to take a look at White's receiving yards tonight out of the backfield. Probably going to utilize him because he didn't have really any downfield vertical threats. Um, but at day's end here, uh, the other side of the coin is that Kansas City is a run-first football team, whether you believe it or not. And it's very, if you take a look at Kansas City this year, you scratch your head on how in the world they are the only unbeaten team in the NFL. Well, they are because Patrick Mahomes knows how to close out games and win games. You know, that's why he's been to four Super Bowls and won three of them and been to five AFC championships. Whether you love them, or, they're the team now that everybody loves to hate. Just like at first it was a great story. Mahomes, everybody loved him. He's doing some commercials. Andy Reid, likable guy, legendary head coach. And now everybody hates him because they win Taylor Swift and Kelsey and all. At the end of the day, they just figure out ways to win games. That's the bottom line. They have the winning recipe, and you're probably going to see them. You're going to see them in the AFC playoffs this year, and they're going to go deep into them because right now they got the best record in football. And when you look at it, though, they have very pedestrian numbers on offense. Matter of fact, Mahomes' QBR rating is 89, and Baker Mayfield's is 106 tonight. So on paper, ba Baker Mayfield is the better quarterback in the game. Now, all those numbers he used to get there – with Evans and Goodwin, they're out. They're out. Of, they're done for the season. So that's a hit to them. I think they do enough to hang around. Uh, out of their last 13 road games, they've covered 10 spreads. They're 10 and 3 ATS on the road. And believe it or not, they went on the road this year, got out game by 240 yards, and beat, still beat Detroit. Obviously, with a full complement of players. But I think it's going to be a clock eating style game. Kansas City, first of all, Tampa Bay's only lost by 10 or more once this year. And Kansas City has only won one game. 
by 10 or more. And that was 13 points against the Saints, who, by the way, I just read, fired their head coach today. And the Saints are the team that blew me out of my private survivor pool here. 200K in that thing. 16 guys left, and we had the Saints yesterday. How'd that work out for us? Brutal. Brutal. What an what a absolute debacle the Saints are. When Bryce Young can beat you, you're bad. If you're bad, all the way around, offensively and defensively. Horrific. Unreal. So, nonetheless, give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to keep it close. Plus the nine and a half. Small pizza money lean. Others may feel differently, have a big, huge play on this. I don't know. For me personally, I don't like laying big points with Kansas City. You know, they do just enough to win, and if they're in a tight ball game, they figure out a way to win it. That's been their MO now for how long? Just not this year. FYI. College basketball tips, as I mentioned, for unit best bet at noon Eastern today. We also have a three player prop card in the NFL. This weekend on Sunday, 4-0 in the NFL. Six unit on the Lions hits. Swept the board plus 1,600. Here's the bad news. On Saturday, we lost a little $1,020 because we had our game of the year on the Clemson Tigers off a of bye week at home, first half line. They never got off the bus and Louisville blew them up. It was a bad call. Bad call. I didn't think they'd come out that slow, lethargic, and rusty off a of bye week the way they've been putting people away. And I thought they were had convinced me they were a top 10 team. Well, they just reconvinced me they weren't. And it cost me money in the process. I apologize for that call. We made it up to you on Sunday big time. Okay. We will get uh, back in action. Uh, we're voting on Tuesday, so there's no NBA. I'm passing in the NHL and NBA today. We had winning weekends and both. Matter of fact, we're unbeaten over the weekend. In the NHL, Doc Sports, where you need to be, free 60 bucks, link in the description below, or a tab on the website. Hey, put it towards a college basketball package. Let's go.